So I've been really shitty about recording this week. So uh, don't be shocked if there's a couple of days smushed in this episode. Because, oops. Also, my nose ring is coming out. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Look at that. About Murphy, did you need something? <coughs> Hi. 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 Hi, Murphy. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. Oh god. Hi. My name is Josie, and this is Mashozy. It's a scary lamp because Carrie is the light. <clears throat> it's candid camera time, Jerry. You're caught being nasty. I am making lasagna. And I'm using basil from my own basil plant. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. The blanket this fell this? on this tiny cat. And she gives no fucks. She loves it. Is this lasagna masterpiece? I did it. Eleanor's first time watching Revenge of the Sith. Can you believe this? General Grievous is gross. General Grievous. This is uh, my favorite of the prequels. It's the only one that I think is really like, yeah. I heard it's like. This is how I edit footage. In a ray hat, watching Star Wars. People are still like It is time to retire my pepper slippers as I finally found a new pair. Hell yeah. We uh, replace our litter boxes fairly often here, just to give them a, a fresh box, and uh, I just want to see who's the first to uh, defile this one. It hasn't even been put in its spot yet, and Holtzman is already inside of it. You caught! You're on caddy camera! What are we doing in there? You pooping? Every day I take Beast Bar twice. Um, this is blood pressure medication because I naturally have high blood pressure, which sucks. Um, Zantac for my extreme acid reflux, and then my Lexapro for depression and whatnot. And then I also take um, what are they called? Like acidophilus for my stomach. Biotin and a bunch of other vitamins like B6, D3, and stuff, which are really good for autism. We're having the greatest flashback today, thanks to MTV. What are you? What are you doing? Hiding. Get it, Nana. <laughs> So rub one, even my socks have gin on them. Yeah! You're so fancy. Look at you. Eleanor knows the owner. Where are we? We're at the movie theater. What are we seeing? Rogue One. How many times have I seen it? A thousand. Nine. Oh, no. Nine times.
chilling. Not so close to my face. No. No. <laughs> Turning the Jedi on VHS, original edit, none of that digital madness put in there. Oh man, the good shit. So I had a nice dinner, touched up my hair color, took a nice bath, and I'm still not ready for Felicity Jones on SNL. Oh my god. Of 2017. There's a pain in my chest, and I can't breathe. Oh my god. Been in Happy! Films this year. Also, no matter how it goes, the president of the United States this will is say it's sad and overrated. This is a gift to the television. President. Yeah, the president. It's fine. No one cares. Thank you. So, Felicity, listen to me. Tonight there will be lots of sketches, and you're not always going to change. This is a very bizarre SNL episode. Hey guys, again, sorry for being so lazy so to speak but I don't want to use the word lazy but uh, uh lagging in posting videos um my pain's been pretty intense in both my back and ankle um that's the thing about chronic pain some days you're like oh my god I'm conquering this I'm doing okay like it's just an echo it's it's a dull pain but my, I'm stronger than this and then some days it's it's a roar and you're like never mind um and, you know, I've got other friends that are dealing with pretty intense chronic pain too, so I have a, a, a tiny support system, but I hate that they're suffering in any way. And we all deal in our own different ways. Some of my friends have um, various prescriptions to pain pills that help them. Some people use physical therapy. Some, like me, use cannabis. And in talking about cannabis, I just want to say some people are like, well, you do is you just smoke so much weed. And the thing is, the reason I'm able to talk to a lot of people, the reason I'm allowed, or able to go out and do things is because the cannabis helps my neurological side, autism. And then it also helps with my pain. It's a great thing about cannabis is one thing does many things. Different strains do different things. It's amazing. It's it's great, and it, it does need to be studied more by the FDA, and that's something that I need you guys to all push and, and have an interest in, is what can cannabis truly do for people? And like I said, for me, it helps me exist, and there's the people who judge, but they don't realize without it, I'd just be laying in bed all the time, and that's how I used to be, and that was horrible. And then I got health insurance, and that helped a bit, like getting... Um, I started getting, you know, my injections and I was able to get my surgery, which relieved I'd say about 40% of my pain in my back, which is nice, but it's not all of it. And it's still pretty intense. I'm talking about like before I I could barely walk. Now I can walk definitely with less pain, but it's it's still there and it's still a thing that exists. And as I've said before, I have to get a spinal fusion eventually because of just how screwed up my discs are. Um, but with all of that stuff and combined with cannabis, it's really made a difference for me. So, you know, with cannabis being legalized in California and it being legalized in other states slowly but surely, hopefully, um, that will bring more interest to the federal government to do something, you know, but right now we've got some interesting changes in power, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but as always... You know, keep your mind open because you never know how people are coping. I'd rather be smoking marijuana than having to be on the crazy amount of opiates that I was on before. And I don't ever want to have to go back to that because being on a ton of pills is scary. And I'm down to only being on a few pills, as you've seen. And I like to keep it that way. <laughs>